What is going on guys? It's RealPlusGML here back with another Game Maker Studio tutorial for you guys. And today is going to be something pretty unique, pretty cool, something I haven't really seen out in the YouTube land yet, and that is Twitter integration and also a little bit of Facebook integration, how you can actually integrate that with your Game Maker Studio uh, game. Now this is following a topic that of a video I just made recently, which is uh, becoming an indie is a, a successful indie game developer and you can click that link right there to open up in a new tab and uh, you can go ahead and check out that video I give you three major tips on how to heighten your chances of success when being an indie game developer so one of them was the social aspect in your game so today is going to be how to kinda integrate Twitter and Facebook into your games now what I mean by that is basically you're going to be able to say for example you create a Twitter button or a Facebook button and they click that it's going to open up in a browser a like Twitter or Facebook and it's going to open up you know with some predetermined text and they can tweet out you know maybe what their final score was or if you want them to like a certain page and they can like that page so yeah let's get right into it so what I'm going to do, just for the sake of the tutorials, I'm just going to create an object. And uh, it doesn't really need to be named or anything. I'm just going to create a room. I'll put the object in the game. And here I'm just going to say key press space. And we're going to go ahead and put in some code. So this is very, very basic code. You should be able to understand it. So we're using a game maker function. And the game maker function is URL underscore open. And here we can just give it a URL. So the predetermined URL for Twitter is, we put this in uh, quotations, it's HTTPS, two forward slashes, Twitter, if I can type today, twitter.com slash intent slash tweet with the question mark, text equals, and then that's where that's going to be your text. Um, so, you know, we can just say, you know, check out my awesome game and you can end that there. So very, very simple. So if we just do that and we go ahead and run the game, let it all compile here, we press space. As you can see, it opens up a URL, check out my awesome game, and they can hit tweet. And this is also mobile friendly because Twitter is responsive. So if you put this in, say, an iOS game or something like that, it'll open up this sort of page, and uh, you can uh, tweet it out just like that. So pretty cool. You do need internet for this to work, though. But I mean, you would need internet anyway, anyway you slice it, because you're, you're gonna have to post something to Twitter right so now say for example we can we can add to this so say for example you wanted like a hashtag or something like that what you can do for that is you can put the and symbol and you can say hashtag e or hashtags equal and we'll just say like real touch gmail all right so we go and run it now with that Get space and we say check out my awesome game hashtag real touch gmail pretty cool stuff so we can also for example say in the create event we had something like a score and their score you know within game maker you know your score could go up you know and get the high score right so if you have a score variable you can then say my score or for example try and beat my score and then you say plus score uh, we have to put it into a string score plus that in my game or something like that so this will now read, try and beat my score. It will display the score in my game. So let's go ahead and run that. And if we hit space, 
try and beat my score 100 in my game or you know whatever your title game would be hashtag and then you can put your game name all that fun stuff so yeah pretty cool stuff this is I mean this is very simple too I mean it's very simple code you can create a Twitter button or something like that and they can you know just tweet that out for you and they can obviously edit the tweet and all that stuff so that's for Twitter if we wanted to do Facebook Facebook is also a pretty simple one we say URL underscore open and this is going to be if you have like say for example you created a page for your game and you want them to like the page then go to HTTPS double forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash plugins forward slash like dot php question mark href equals http forward slash www.facebook.com slash and this is where you put your Facebook name so whatever that may be now this right here is going to direct a URL to go like your page so there's gonna be something it pops up and you're going to be able to like the page right so if you have a Facebook you can say like us on Facebook then here you put facebook.com and say your game name was you know um, uh, cake um, eating or something like that then you make your Facebook page cake eating and just link them directly there right so pretty simple stuff like I was saying before so that's probably gonna be it for today go leave a like go and subscribe and uh, I hope to get some feedback on this tutorial and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.